Hi guys, it's me, Trudy Lee. How's everybody doing? Are y'all getting ready for Christmas? It is so beautiful here today. It's been sunny the last couple of days. We're having, you know, cool weather, but not hot. It's, it's fall weather here now. It's really nice. Uh, the trees have finally changed color, so it's gorgeous, even though now it's December and we're getting in towards winter. But in the south here, deep south, uh, fall comes very late, <laughs> but it, the trees are leafing now. They're they're finally uh, falling off because we had a cold snap. But it's nice. It's you know doesn't get more than seventy degrees, but the sun's shining. It's gorgeous. Just a beautiful, beautiful day. I hope you guys are um, having a wonderful Christmas holiday. Hopefully, y'all are with the people that you love and that you care about, and surrounded by you know friends and family. I hope you got some plans made and just relax and enjoy. Enjoy your the people that you love to be around. So we had a Christmas party, well not a Christmas, a birthday Christmas party, I will say, last night. Um, <clears throat> my uh, daughter's birthday was yesterday. My grandson's birthday was on the 13th, but he had finals and he wanted to wait till he was out of school to celebrate his birthday. So we did it last night on Monday. I wanted to do it on the weekend, but this was the last weekend before Christmas that my daughter could go and uh, see some holiday lights with their family and do some things. So we put it off till Monday because her daughter just came home from New York. So all the family is here. Uh, everybody's home from college and all that. So uh, we're going to be getting together on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day too. But last night we had a birthday party. <clears throat> I'm still getting over my sickness, y'all. Sorry if I'm sounding a little hoarse. Can you believe I'm still, I, I still have this? It's just hanging on. <laughs> it's a, it's just phlegm, you know. It's just the phlegm that um, it's hanging on. I've never had it this long. And I never have been really sick with the flu like I was. Anyways, sorry for my voice. Uh, but I'm okay. I'm doing fine. I'm not feeling sick or bad or anything. But last night we played games. We had um, a birthday celebration, presents, and all that. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work, just even leading up to it. So I, I make lots of goodies, lots of cookies and fudge, and just all kinds of things for Christmas. And I made more fudge today because I'm going to go see my family. Um, in They live in Cleveland. They live about four hours away from me. So I'm going to go visit them tomorrow and bring them all the fudge you know, so I'm making more fudge. I've made a whole lot of fudge, but I'm making more. I want to make sure I have enough for everybody. And uh, what else? Um, we had a great time, and we're looking forward to spending time together on Christmas Eve. Like I said, I hope you guys have something wonderful planned that, you know, you can be together. I know there's a lot of sadness going on in the world right now. Of course, my family has gone through um, a lot of uh, difficulty this year. Uh, we lost our mom. My husband, my um, brother lost um, his wife, and we've just, you know, been through a lot of difficulty. My sister has, you know, her uh, grandson was born last year, and they went through all that. Y'all know um, he's doing well. I just want y'all to know. Although, you know, he has, he's going to always have problems, but he's doing well. He's a good little baby. <clears throat> and um, everybody is, you know, just trying to muddle through, I guess. Um, my brother's still grieving for his wife, and it's Christmas time. It's a time when um, it can really bring on some depression for some people and a lot of sadness because of missing the people that you love. But you should know that the people that are on the other side, the people that have passed on, and you're missing them and loving them, they're closer to you than you even know. They really are. They're around you. They're, they know how you feel. They're sending you love. And I hope that gives you some comfort. But while I was making the fudge, I got a Christmas message, and I just had to stop. Well, I didn't. I couldn't completely stop because I had to pour it in the pan or it would dry up in the on the stove. But I had to come here as quickly as I could to deliver this message to you guys. It's important for you to hear it, okay? So in light of everything that 
is going on in the world. There's so much tragedy and sadness going on. This Christmas message is for everyone because we are all connected. What happens to another affects us all. The wars, tragedies, slaughter of innocent people being gunned down, hostages taking from their families. We've seen all this play out this year. Um, And we pray and hope for a better tomorrow. But this is an awakening for us all that we have work to do. And you, you might be thinking to yourself, but what can I do? I have, you know, I'm just one person. I don't have a voice. I have no, you know, I don't have any money. I can't do it. What can I do? Well, there, there is something you can do. Live in line with love because that's who you truly are. And love is what's re- what really matters. Love is all there is. When you live in love, you're generous kind, loving, forgiving, compassionate, non-judging. And you know how we, we've been through this political climate and we're judging others constantly, constantly. We need to demonstrate how to love each other. So when your behavior, with your behavior, you demonstrate how to be kind, loving, compassionate, and be a role model for others and teach the young ones to be kind, loving, helpful, compassionate. Teach that we are all one and one for all, like the three musketeers, right? And one day we'll get to a time when one man will not pick up an arm against another because he knows We're all brothers or we're all sisters, all brothers and sisters. So touch all those in your circle. That's all you have to do. You don't have to be a, you know, a loud voice, a big voice. If you do have a big voice, good. You know, there are people out there that have a big voice and they're using it. They have a big platform and they're using it for good. So, but with your circle, your friends, your family, those that you love, Be the beacon of hope. That's your part. That's all you have to do is demonstrate love to your circle. Teach love. And if everybody does that, we will live in peace. Now, of course, this is going to take time, but we can conquer the darkness. And that's my Christmas message to you guys. God bless you all and all that you love. Do something kind to somebody. It'll always come back to you. Have a blessed Christmas and a safe and happy new year. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.